People, I took my son back to college this evening and I got back home and um, I was preparing another video and a part of the video that I did earlier on T.D. Jakes a part when I did the numbers when it came out to Donald J. Trump that began to bother me on the way home and I want to deal with that because I want to show you something and if I'm right something's close or the demise of Trump is close. Either way, I want you to listen to what T.D. Jake said at the end. This is very important. This is very important, I believe, because it was T.D. Jakes who we naturally, our emotions, and logic and history, the connections, alleged connections of bad behavior, all that took a precedence. But you know, people, you know, when you, I responded to someone when they said, Pearson, you, you should be more woke. I am woke. There, there are a lot of different angles I could have taken when I did the first video. I just decided to just put it out there because like I responded to that person. Sometimes you got to use a little bit of wisdom. You let the wolves get full, then you respond. I'm going to say it again. Sometimes you got to let the wolves get full, let them have their fill. Then you respond. This might be one of those times because I've been doing, as you guys know, at least three videos a day, at least. And I've been on this Trump thing like nobody's business. And I, I saw some things and I, I just didn't use them. And then the Lord brought back to my memory, literally, literally. I'm sitting here doing another video and God reminded me, he says, look, you, you left something out. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I sure did, didn't I? And then I went over and I'm like, well, it, it really, and he, no, he said, no, uh, go back. I'm glad I went back. Now watch, listen to what T.D. Jake says. It's very important. Listen to what he's saying. And you have to ask yourself, is he talking about himself or is he talking about someone? Listen. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord my strength, my redeemer, let them go in peace. Did you hear what he said? He said, let him go in peace. Listen, listen. Right. Oh Lord, my strength, my redeemer, let them go in peace. Did you catch that? Let him go in peace. It's deep. I had created a Gematria calculator of that verse of the whole passage of Psalms 19, 14. 
after this video, I'm going to go back into it. And if I find something, I'm going to post a, a two minute video. But people, I get the impression he wasn't talking about himself. I'll take the criticism on this, but I know what I'm hearing. I know what I'm hearing. Acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength, my redeemer. Let them go in peace. Let them go in peace. Okay. Now watch this again. T.D. Jake's last birthday, 6-9-2024. She checked it from 11-20 of 2024. What just happened? 11-20 was Biden's birthday. You subtract the difference, you know what you get? 165 days. Now watch this. So I took T.D. Jake's birthday of 6-9-2024, his last birthday, Subtracted from 1120, which is Biden's birthday, and I got 165 days. 165 days. And then I showed you that the 165th day of the year was what? June 14th. Trump. Yeah, good old Donald Trump, like it's always been in a lot of my videos re recently. At Jamaica Hospital in Queens, New York City, the fourth child of Fred Trump and Marianne McLeod Trump. He is of German and Scottish descent. What are the odds, people? That she would subtract T.D. Jake's last birthday from Biden's birthday a few days ago, and you wind up getting, again, 165 days, right? 165 days right there. And with that, of course, you get your June 14th, 165th day of the year. And uh, we find out that Trump was born June 14th. And this is what hit me when I hit the door this evening. It would not leave me. I tried to shake it. Now watch what I came up with. The book of Psalms is the 19th book. The 19th book. Okay? A book of wisdom. A book of wisdom. But it also means something else. If you take 19... And the Bible has 66 books. So you subtract the 19 from the 66. Look at what you get. That's what I left out. I forgot to put that in my last video. But I had it written down right here. And God's like, you forgot. <laughs> Look at that. 19 minus 66 is 47. Psalms. 1914. But watch this. The book of Psalms can be considered a warning against turning away from God. I have been doing videos. I can't remember the which last one I did in relation to the statement I'm about to make. These powers double speak. They double speak. So there might be some truth to what <laughs> some people are saying. That this is an act. That it's an act. I mean, look at the background. It does look a little bit purple, don't it? I'm just throwing it in there. But, but, follow, but follow my logic. I showed you it's 47. Donald Trump's the 47th president. 
the book of Psalms can be considered a warning against turning away from God. A warning. Would this be considered a warning? Would this be considered a warning? Would that be considered a warning? So I took it literally. And this is the part that really blew my mind. And I still got goosebumps. The 47, April 7th of 2024, subtracted from that dreadful day, right, of 7-13-2024 of the ear issue in Butler, Pennsylvania. The difference is 97 days. Now, you might ask, what does 97 mean? The 97th day of the year is April 7th. Four seven just like four seven. Wow, you can't get around it. Warning, and my mind was like, That was a warning. What was, what was the date of the warning? The, war, the, war, the warning date was 7 13. And I, if I take the warning literally of 4-7, I subtract the dates, I got 97. The 97th day of the year is 47. It's Trump, 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 no matter what you do. So I'm like, okay, let me go further. I took T.D. Jake's birthday of 6-9. I took 6-9 of 2025, his next birthday. I subtracted it from the warning. The warning was on 713. What's the difference? 47, second warning. I'm French Shy Pearson. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. This is crazy. This is crazy, y'all. It very well could have been Something played out for the future. And I put it to you like this. If this man is doing what a lot of people say he's been doing, he got to play ball in this whole big charade of unaligned, of unaliving. Donald J. Trump, I'm going to say it again. If this man is guilty of all that people have been saying with this P. Diddy thing, if he is behind the scenes also part of a secret group, then guess what? You got to play ball. Translated, this allegedly could well have been an act, but a message for the future of the unalive Donald Trump. But it won't be him. It's going to be a fake one. The goal is to suck all our energy out. What a world that we're living in. I don't know what to tell you. All I know is that the number pattern came down to 47. And as you can see, it didn't stop. God bless you. We got to listen to it again. I'm sorry. Got to listen to it again. Right in our face, wasn't it? Get rid of the emotions. You can, you can, you can, take, it, you can take it literally. Acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength, my redeemer. Let them go in peace. See, when you pray that prayer, it ends with Redeemer, right? Let's find it. Psalms 19.14. See? It ends with 
This is the new age version, my rock, but, and my redeemer. He added to it. It ends with redeemer. See? King James version. Let's put that in there. We're going to get this right. It's deep, y'all. Oh, Lord, my strength, my redeemer. And at the end, what did he add? Looking all like he going through something, right? Strength, my redeemer. Let him go in peace. We didn't catch that part, did we? Now we have. Let him go in peace. Let who get, let who go in peace. See, what it come down to, baby, is that uh, it's like a eulogy, wasn't it? Wow.